Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, very early day for session. Uh, to start from uh, my uh, NTT data that I uh, cloud platform for IoT, uh, designing, evaluating large scale data collecting and storing platform. Uh, uh, my name is Hiroshi Miura, and I come from Japan, and I'm happy to join the uh, OpenStack Summit in Austin. Uh, I'm, I've been uh, pre presented the similar title on the Tokyo Summit, and uh, I'd like to share our uh, experience in this half year's progress. As mentioned in keynote in the Jonathan's one, uh, the OpenStack is coming to be the new stage, uh, and that just on the uh, virtual machines, uh, orchestration of the cloud, not only so, uh, the next, uh, the OpenStack is a, uh, uh, become big software and uh, we have the support the diversity of IT systems. Uh, today I will share the, our trial to implement the IoT project, IoT platform on the project and the focus on the uh, problem we are faced on the uh, process on the, our uh, IoT project. Uh, this is uh, every time the uh, disclaimer that this is for informative uh, presentation. So, about us, uh, who we are. I'm Hiroshi Miura, the project leader, and uh, uh, directing the OpenStack to a uh, new IoT platform. Uh, this is a uh, memory, uh, Naoto. Uh, Naoto is a chief. Uh, architect on the, this project and the leading uh, the evaluation and the designing of the platform. And uh, Yuji, Yuji is not come here, but uh, he's a great engineer for uh, implementing everything for the, his uh, good uh, IT skills. <laughs> the, we are the uh, OSS professional uh, sector in the MT Data Corporation. Uh, in our floors, uh, the many uh, OpenStack guides, and uh, I'm uh, the centric on the OpenStack Swift to implementing the cloud storage of the uh, mobile carrier's mail system or the uh, another uh, carrier's uh, OpenStack system. And uh, uh, the next to our team, uh, we have the OpenStack Hadoop team, and they have the, the deep knowledge of the OpenStack Hadoop Spark and the Yang, and etc. Our main target in this project is uh, uh, cloud technology and especially for uh, OpenStack and OpenStack Swift, Sheepdoc, and uh, recently uh, challenging on the Docker. And also, uh, we are uh, interested in the automation of the IT platform. Uh, as I uh, share our experience in the uh, Kirin Brewery Company's uh, enterprise system in the last Tokyo Summit, they use the OpenStack, and we are helped to deploy the OpenStack with automation system. Then, today, I'll share the uh, challenge for the IoT. Uh, in this uh, presentation, uh, the agenda is uh, this three. At first, an uh, overview of the project, and the next, uh, IoT platform we designed is uh, described, and last, uh, the evaluation and the op IoT platform on open, OpenStack. Uh, as you may know, uh, IoT is a buzzing in the market and uh, everything is connected to the internet. Now, in our vision, uh, everything is connected to the net, but the, it is sometimes not the internet or the private network, but uh, everything become connected. Uh, almost computers are connected to the internet in nowadays, and also smart devices. Uh, then, in recent days, many consumer electronics is uh, connected to the internet, and many consumer electronics vendors are released new feature connect connection in the home electronics. Uh, next five or 10 years, uh, connected to vehicle, connected to car era, will be become, and this is a big impact for the IoT systems. And recently, uh, construction machines like Komatsu is a, a very a folk, uh, famous for the success story of the IoT system. 
IoT enables data gathering, covering over the internet. Then, uh, many uh, business users think, oh, let's collect everything, then we can earn the more money, we can provide a more good service. But they have a good, big issue for realizing IoT platform. Everyone wants to do big data analysis with IoT, but gathering data from everything is not easy work. Engineer know, but business card person sometimes forget this. So we are trying to this issue in our platform. Uh, we are uh, already implement the IoT platform for other uh, ASP style, cloud service style in, for the sensor network. Uh, we released the uh, public service on the uh, October last year and uh, connect the uh, many sensors for the water uh, processing companies. We use the technology for the, this sensor network to using uh, OpenStack Swift and uh, Amazon S3 style object storage and uh, implement on the hybrid cloud, public and private hybrid cloud. Also, uh, last year, uh, buzzing the new keyword uh, industry for, from uh, Germany and uh, Europe and uh, ev worldwide everywhere. The robot in the smart factory generate many, many data for the system. This is a big challenge for us to gathering the, such a big, big, big data to collecting, gathering, storing the system. Uh, we are uh, already uh, experienced in the some uh, limited impact social influence system like a vendor machine connection or a smart factory, some, some small POC of smart factory or sensor networks. And uh, last year, uh, we uh, uh, helped some uh, utility company, a power or a gas company, to uh, realize a smart meter for the Japan market. Today, uh, we try to realize the huge impact to social influence system, like a smart city, smart grid, and connected vehicle. This uh, system would be deal with so many huge data, so many cars is connected. There are billions of cars in the worldwide. It exists now and that will be depressed to the connected version car vehicles. Then every year, millions of cars newly connected to the system. This is our target and we are trying to realize this demand on the, our system. I tell you just now, uh, there are four key elements on the I4 IoT service. Of course, uh, there are most important things is the business applications to provide uh, value-added service for the customer or you and the users. But to realize the platform, a system, we need the IoT platform implement data receiver, data lake, data store, and the data analysis platform. A data lake is a new keyword for the uh, store, storing data, like a storage, uh, HDFS, Hadoop. But uh, uh, this is concept of the every data is stored in the something like the lake, and then move the necessary data to analyze platform, then analyze it. So data uh, lake is a uh, uh, store, store place of the everything data on here. Uh, to our uh, target and the potential customers, uh, their uh, demand is a very huge one. For connection, one million concurrent connection should be dealt in the platform. 
for the performance, uh, 10,000 are over transaction per second, second should be treated in the data receiver. And uh, very surprisingly, 100 petabyte pass over in the month. This, is, this would be become in the next three or five years in the smart grid or a connected vehicle is uh, released on the consumer market. Our goal is flat stacked IoT platform on using the open stack from data center, lag, network to uh, upper is uh, middleware, uh, connecting software and application and data analysis, the everything using uh, OpenStack and uh, related open source softwares. Okay, then I change the talk with Na from Naoto on the detail of the platform. Hi, I'm Naoto from NTT Data. Uh, so, okay, let me talk about our IoT platform in uh, technology uh, perspective. And before talking about our IoT platform, I would like to mention about IoT data. In general, uh, IoT data has three key features, velocity, volume, and variety. And as Hiroshi mentioned, the scale of our target is a mission-critical system, and the performance demands are like this one. For example, IoT platform has to process 10 gig BPS, has to establish one mega concurrently connections, has to store 100 petabytes per data, and has to support 100 data formats, and so on. Then, let me describe our goal on the next slide. So these are our goal. We have defined three goals along to three key measures, which are based on general demands in our target. The first goal is one mega concurrently connections. IoT platform has to establish MQTT connections between devices at the same time. The second goal is 50 q transaction per sec. The platform has also received and processed a bunch of MQTT messages without packet losing. It's a big challenge. The last goal is 5 gigabyte per sec. It has the capability of data storage, which can be stored 5 gigabyte per sec data to itself. We have developed and evaluated IoT platform on our testing environment last fiscal year. From next slides, let me talk about our testing environment. We have evaluated IoT platform on bare metal and crowd testbed. Objective of testing on bare metal testbed is to do hardware benchmarking on physical servers. On the other hand, testing on cloud testbed is to do scale benchmarking on the cloud. Ideally, we should construct and test the IoT platform on full testing environment to achieve our target. However, uh, we have tested on minimum physical and cloud environment like this one due to time and resource limitation, unfortunately. And we have actually chose AWS, AWS, which is comparable, comparable as OpenStack in this testing. So uh, this is a detail of cloud instances and hardware devices for testing. We have estimated the number of cloud instances and hardware devices based on the result of our hardware sizing. The the number of key points of our testing environment is three. The first one is 10 gigabit Ether network. The second point is huge memory. The third point is many number of hard disk drives. In our use cases, IoT platform has to process around five, sorry, uh, 50 k messages per sec. Thus, wireless would be a long 10 gigabit Ethernet. It's a huge heavy traffic. And this is the component of our IoT platform, which can be broken down mainly two elements, data receiver and data lake. First, data receiver has three components, connection gateway, broker, and receiver. The second, 
data lake has all the components, cache, converter, and accumulator, and data store. Uh, today, so unfortunately, we can't share any test results but uh, some NDA. Uh, but uh, from this slide, we can we we would like to share the knowledge and experience uh, about IoT platform, how to realize IoT platform on OpenStack. Uh, before I'm speaking about how to realize the IoT platform on OpenStack, I'm asking to you guys, IoT. It's just a use case on OpenStack. What is OpenStack? OpenStack is just a cross software. Your partner, yes. What is IoT? IoT is just application. Completely no. We believe IoT must be an infrastructure to support future in internet. So OpenStack supports a part of the future infrastructure, right? We have seriously considered how to realize IoT platform powered by OpenStack. So today, we want to share the technical results requests for OpenStack and the, to do items of OpenStack from next slides. OK, let me share technical requests for OpenStack from our experience. We have five requests. Let's get talk about them one by one from next slide. The first one, as we mentioned, we are challenging to realize IoT platform for mission critical area. Some of the characteristics of mission critical system of our target are high volume and heavy traffic. In our use case, IoT platform has to process around 50 kilo messages per second. As I mentioned, thus wireless would be around 10 gigabit Ethernet. So the number of challenges for IoT platform and infrastructure running IoT platform is two. The one is to receive messages from data source, certainly in spite of heavy late traffic like DDoS attack. The another one is, the another is to store messages to data store rapidly. So we'd like to ask the infrastructure OpenStack with running IoT platform to be a supported IO guaranteed about network and storage. This is first request for OpenStack. The second request is feature of message blocking. As you know, OpenStack has already supported messages queue with Jekka, uh, but uh, we are happy if OpenStack supports not only support message queues, but also message broker because Perhaps based on synchronous I.O. and feature of returning tasks if workers fail are uh, powerful to realize high scalability and flexibility. Moreover, we are happy, very happy if the message broker of future OpenStack supports multiple protocols for IoT and QS control. This is the second request. The third request is management integration. In the other IoT use case, we need to care. We need to care how we should manage not only computer resources of IoT platform, but also computer resources of edge devices. We as OpenStack users like to do unified manage of all open computer resources by OpenStack due to reduced operational cost. The next the first request is application mo performance monitoring. In other words, we would like to ask OpenStack to support data gathering and data visualization, data visualizing for application monitoring. As we mentioned, our IoT platform has mainly three features. The first one is data receiver, the second one is data lake, and the third one is data analysis. This means different characteristics applications are running on the same platform. Therefore, it is necessary to be able to monitor how to, sorry, how much load has happened on the whole of IoT platform and the part of the IoT platform to use hardware resource effectively. So we'd like to monitor not only hardware and OS status, but also application status 
We are happy if OpenStack can provide any framework like Elasticsearch, FrontD, or Kibana to gather and visualize an application log on OpenStack. The last request is easy to manage data stores and ETL. In IoT use case, we have two requests. The one is OpenStack can provide various data stores for data analysis applications own convenience. The another is OpenStack can provide any framework to use ETL feature easily. ETL, uh, currently it might be needed for combination data stores. It is a kind of the inventing the wheel. In other words, it is a waste of time. So we'd like to ask OpenStack to support any common framework about ETL. We believe this is useful for IoT use case. Okay, these are re our requests for OpenStack. And then we have imagined an IoT infrastructure reflecting these requests. Let me show you the architecture on the next slide. Uh, before I show our new architecture, uh, let me show the old one. Uh, this is showed in the last OpenStack time in Tokyo. So, and then, so this is a new architecture uh, reflecting our request for OpenStack. Mainly update point are pulse, container, connection gateway, edge monitoring, authentication and authorization, and ETL part. Okay, about pulse, container, and edge management. Uh, these are because we are considering how integrate edge computing and ground computing about the connection gateway. This component has to process heavily tra traffic around 10 gigabit BPS. We thought uh, that virtual router might be accommodate our request for our use case. So we changed from using virtual router to connection gateway. The last one is ETL. Yeah, ETL is important in IoT use cases I mentioned. Then, we will show that our architecture mapping on current OpenStack. This is our architecture mapping on OpenStack. Pulse container is corresponding to heat and magnum, you know. A part of edge gateway and connection gateway are neutral. Broker, current Zucker only supports MQ, uh, not messages broker. Trouble looks good for our architecture. We are happy uh, if Trob tasks takes care of ETL future also. So Hala also looks good for us. Swift is of course is great for us. It is just fit to our architecture. And then today we want to share five actual items that OpenStack should do to be used for IoT use cases from our experience. We are happy if we can contribute to OpenStack diversity through this presentation. Okay, let me share two the list for OpenStack to be useful in IoT use cases. We describe five items. Let's get talked about them one by one from next slide. As I mentioned, the number of challenges for IoT platform and infrastructure running IoT platform is two. The one is to receive messages from data source Certainly, in spite of heavy traffic. The another one is to store messages to data store laboratory. So we'd like to ask OpenStack to be supported by your guaranteed flavor about network and storage. The next one is messages broker support. The point is what kind of APIs should be designed for northbound systems and how many messages broker OpenStack should support. Uh, from our experience, we ask OpenStack to support this message broker, like, and especially Apache Kafka should be fine because it has high, very high performance, scalability, durability, and flexibility. Data streaming project, Storm, Frenti, from and so on. The third point is edge device management. This is actually still discussing what is the best idea. 
But now, we guess these will be to pretend to do edge device management. The one is cloud platform, cloud platform for IoT. It directly manages the edge gateway. The another one is cloud platform for IoT. It's kicked on API like this figure by mobile carrier system, which is edge gateway management system. How should we manage both of nodes? What is the best architecture to do it? If you guys are interested in this item, let's discuss with last later. The fourth item is performance monitoring. We would like to monitor not only hardware and OS status, but also application status. We are happy if OpenStack can provide any framework like Elasticsearch, Frenti, or Kibernet to gather and visualize an application log on OpenStack. The last one is ETL as a service. Currently, a bunch of ETLs are needed for combination data stores. It is a kind of reinventing the wheel. If OpenStack supports something like ETL inf interface like this figure, it can be helpful for IoT use case. These are our uh, these are total lists for OpenStack we sold. Okay, uh, let's go to the summaries of this presentation. IoT technologies enables us to gather huge data over the internet, the internet, and create new value with data analysis. We updated our IoT architecture and summarized to the list to make IoT platform OpenStack. Then we believe IoT powered by OpenStack. That is all about. Any questions? No questions? No questions? Okay, thank you for, yep. Wait. Oh. wait, wait. And then I was wondering uh, how long and how much data you, you, you're gonna store for a long time, right? Because if you are storing lots of data, I think mm -hmm. you said that 50 petabyte per month, right? And then do you keep them or just, uh, you know, uh, throw away in a month or, you know, just wondering how do you deal with those uh, huge data? Okay. Uh, thank you for your question. So, uh, actually, actually, so it's a depend on our potential customer, but uh, we guess so data should be stored a long, long year, one year from now. Now. Other questions? Thank you very much for attending this presentation. Thank you.